A disappointing moment for the Gamecocks, who just lost a hard game against the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame in Jacksonville. The team now sets its sights on 2023 after making historic strides during the season. Good evening and thanks for joining us for News 19 at 11. I'm Zoe Henry. We begin with the latest from the TIAA Bank Stadium in Jacksonville, where the Gamecocks fell to Notre Dame 45-38. It was the highest scoring game in Gator Bowl history with many memorable moments from the Gamecocks. Our Chandler Mack is in Jacksonville with a recap of the bowl game and the latest from the team as South Carolina looks ahead to next year. For those guys to play their butts off like they did and, and um, leave everything out there like they did, I'm uh, really, really, really proud to be their coach. An emotional Shane Beamer sharing his thoughts on his team season, which ends with a 45 to 38 defeat against Notre Dame in the Gator Bowl. Despite tying a season high with 21 first quarter points, Carolina was unable to sustain that momentum as 264 rushing yards by the Fighting Irish proved to be too much for the Gamecocks to overcome as they finish the season eight and five. They give them credit. I mean, they got a good football team. They kind of did what they do and and, um, you know, we got uh, beat out there on the perimeter a couple times on some perimeter plays and, and just didn't execute as well as we needed to. Spencer Rattler had his ups and downs in the game, completing 29 of his 46 passes for 246 yards, two touchdowns and an interception. While Spencer, his teammates and his head coach were all upset by the outcome, they recognized the progress the team has made this season, saying that the program is on the rise. So it was a great year, um, obviously going to win. I remember a lot of the big wins we had, um, beating top three or four top 25 teams. I think that's a big-time thing for this program and winning eight games overall, making it to a great game like this and you know, just coming up you know, just short. Man, we just going to keep striving, man, and I'm just going to try to keep doing the same thing I can do to help them boy. It's just, it was a great year, and, you know, obviously we didn't want it to end like this, but it happens, you know. Spencer will have a big decision to make now that the season is over, but if he does decide to come back, he'll be an impact player on the Gamecock squad that is bringing in a top 20 recruiting class for the first time in 10 years. Signing off from TIAA Bank Field in Jacksonville, Florida, Chandler Mack, News IT, WLTX. Despite the disappointing loss in Jacksonville, lots of South Carolina fans still have that Gamecock pride. News 19's Sam Perez is still there and shows us what tonight means to them and what it has fans thinking about the future. I'm in Jacksonville at the TIAA Bankfield Stadium where Gamecock fans are disappointed in the results of the Gator Bowl. Now, although South Carolina lost to Notre Dame, I spoke to fans who tell me they're excited about next season. You know, we fought hard, did not quite come out on top, but you know what? It's a great effort. Go Cox! Go Cox! Go Cox! Go Cox! All the way. I think that we are on the rocket ride of our lives as Gamecock fans. And for some fans, like 13-year-old Ryder Rixie, this night was extra special. It's a dream come true. I mean, not only to go to a South Carolina game, but go to a bowl game. It's just a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Ryder got tickets to the Gator Bowl from his grandma in an envelope he opened on Christmas. They were saying congratulations and Merry Christmas. You should wear this sweater because we're going to Gator Bowl. So at that moment, I was really excited. You guys got tickets? <laughs> and that excitement is still continuing, along with other members of Gamecock Nation. Go Cocks! You win some, you lose some, but Gamecock for life, basically. I love the team and everything they've done, and they put on a good performance, and at the end of the day, win or lose, still ride or die Gamecock fan. Those fans are not letting anything dampen their spirits. Reporting in Jacksonville, Sam Perez, News 19, WLTX. For a full look at the highlights from the Gator Bowl, our sports director, Reggie Anderson, will break down the game later in sports. Though a bowl game loss isn't how fans wanted the Gamecock season to end, Shane Beamer and his squad saw a lot of success throughout the fall. At the beginning of October, the Gamecocks upset number 13 ranked Kentucky on the road. The team then came back home for their first win ever against Texas A&M. And last month, the Gamecocks had back to back wins over two top 10 teams. The first was a huge win over Tennessee, shortly following, followed by the first win over Clemson in nine years.